Voyage of the Sun. I remember when it first happened. See, I'm smarter than the average person. I'm pretty keen when it comes to the negative things. Well, I have to say, I'm in the middle of the eradication of the human race. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about zombie infestations like in creepypastas. This is something different. Sa Scientists have been pondering for months now. S it's time I tell you what's going on, since I won't be around much longer. Basically, the sun is falling. It's been falling for three months now. No one noticed it until last month. The temperature is going to a whopping 150 degrees. Things are catching on fire, gas tanks are creating explosions, it's not safe anywhere, even in your bedroom. My sheets are burning down around me, the temperature is rising every minute, the ozone layer is cracking from all the gravity. Radiation makes, radiation makes things so much more dangerous. The weakest ones died first, of course, with things getting so hot, when you touch them, your body gets incinerated instantly. That's why I used aluminum. The heat and radiation reflects off my house and back into space. Like I said, I remember when it first started. I woke up and noticed the day was brighter than usual. It was in the middle of February and there was tons of snow. Most of that snow was gone when I went outside for the newspaper. To my surprise, it wasn't cold out. Only 49 degrees. Everyone was rejoicing with cold weather. I wasn't. I knew something was wrong. Then again, I am known in the neighborhood for being extremely negative. But something just wasn't right. Then came the news report of a wildfire the next day. And every day after that, people finally decided that something was wrong. They were just too stupid to realize it earlier. Now the world is in global panic because of what's going on. It's been two months since they found out. Even I didn't know. All I, all I knew was that something was wrong. Then two months... And two months ago, scientists declared that the Earth was hurtling towards the sun. They explained it was because a gigantic asteroid wandered out of its belt, hurtling into Earth and setting its delicate gravitational movements off course. There's nothing they can do to stop the demise of the human race. There was a global panic for the next month, people rushing in to the grocery stores and taking everything off the shelves. I didn't give up or anything. To give myself an advantage, I stocked tons of food up even before word came out. I went to the store every day for a month and brought home around five bags each time. My goal was to not attract attention and I succeeded. By the time I finished stocking, people were starting to get scared. I didn't warn any anyone about the upcoming disaster, they wouldn't believe me anyway. So I wrote all this. So the next generation of species of living things will inhabit this earth and find it. So I can find out about the demise of the human race. I am the last human on earth, but I won't be alive for much longer. In the time it took to write all this, every single person on earth died. With last wishes, I hope new species will find this planet prosperous. And as I look at my final moments on this planet, I realize one thing. Just one thing. All this time, time has been planning the genocide of millions of uh, millions of races around the world, whether it be plant, animal, or human. We took this place for granted. We used up all the resources clumsily and slowly killed the planet. Time wanted revenge, and time got revenge. With all these new devices, teleports, and movable beds, and storage cabinets inside walls, we were asking for it. There was only a few brilliant people on Earth, and those people were all shot down. No, I look upon where I'm sitting, and put the paper, f put the paper face down on my floor. That way, the fire of the sun can burn my, can burn the letters into the ground. Everything around me is incinerating. Next thing I know, I feel a little sting that gets more and more painful. There's nothing to do, no, nothing to do or anywhere to go to stop it. I screamed at the top of my lungs as the burning embers laced around me. I witnessed my bones flesh and blood turning to ashes before my very eyes. Closed my eyes and screamed as the burning sensation grew unbearable. Goodbye forever, the human race was the last thing I saw in my head.
as I drew my last breath. Then, blackness. R.I.P. The genocide of the human race and all over the living things.